All right, guys, I want to share with you this beautiful blue coral Seiko monster. Thank you, Seiko, for putting these out, if you're watching or listening. The Sumo, this one, you know, the monster, any of the other blue coral ones, they pop. The coloring is perfect. The splash of yellow, but not too much yellow. You can see it's only on the... Where are we at here? You can see it's on the 12, 3, 6, and 9, and then it's on the pointer for the second hand on the monster. Um, I'm not sure on the other models. I know Bruce just got his Sumo, so he did an unboxing. He'll do a full video on that soon. And then uh, Jeffrey McMahon also has the Coral Blue. Um, I don't know what model that is. I'll, I'll put a link to actually both those videos in the description of this video. You guys definitely want to check those out because this is a, a very good colorway. So for comparison, I don't have a, I don't know if I have another blue watch, but you can see it next to the you know quote jade monster here. So the model number on the coral one is uh, SBD SBDC067, and then the uh, model number on the jade or emerald or whatever you want to call it is the SZ. SC005. So also thank you Seiko for coming up with um, part numbers like you do. They're super helpful for us uh, telling other people about them or you know also looking looking them up. You know the days of the uh, SKX 781 or the SRP 309 and 307 and 311 those days are over. It's like they're just bouncing all over the place with these uh, model numbers. So Anyway, makes it challenging, I guess. Makes the hunt more exciting. So but you can see um, definitely the dial. Now you're going to run into with the monster, like all of the monsters, the dial and then the chapter that is in there are going to be slightly different because you're talking about two different materials. You know, the dial's metal and then that chapter is actually like a resin plastic material. So... Uh, you can see it's a it's more it's a similar blue, but it maybe looks a little more matted because they can't get the you know the sheen or the um, you know the change to it like you can with the metal. So very cool. Um, I I've grown to kind of like the um, magnifier date magnifier. I think it's just enough. It's not overkill for the the dial. I would be fine removing it too or. You know, maybe even putting a, uh, a anti-reflective sapphire crystal or something in this watch, I think would really help these colors pop even more. But I'm a, I tend to leave my Seiko's bone stock um, when it comes to the monsters. Now, if you want to, you know, get involved with an SKX, then yeah, I'll I'll modify that. It's no big deal. The bezel action on this thing is perfection. It reminds me very much of the bezel action on my uh, 2014-ish um, era orange monster that's actually on my wrist right now so i've been wearing this thing like non-stop again so whereas on the jade one the bezel action is actually quite a bit looser feeling so it's still it's still nice and it, and it works fine it's typical seiko um, but it's it doesn't have that little bit of resistance that both this guy has which i prefer and my orange monster has so um, anyway guys i wanted to show you this guy uh, I'll be doing some more monster videos because, quite frankly, I've been wearing these and I've been excited about getting this, the blue one in, and um, it's it's my favorite dive watch, hands down. Like many dive watches come and go, but the Seiko Monster is top dog in my in my book. So uh, I want to show you a wrist shot with it real quick. So I'll toss it on wrist. This is a, a extra bracelet I had laying around. I have not sized the, um, the bracelet it came on, but it's standard, you know, Seiko Monster bracelet. And there's the hang tag. It comes in a very basic box. I'll tell you price here in a minute, but you can see, I didn't fold it over. You can see there it is on my wrist, seven and a quarter inch wrist. You can see that blue looks amazing. It's only gonna look even better in sunlight. I will actually try to get some daylight video or pictures to scroll in in future videos because I think it's important to capture that outside of these studio lights, which don't give it the full effect. So 
you can see off in the background here this is the um the black dracula that i uh, built for my son a while ago that's been just sitting in my box i haven't worn that at all i actually probably should wear that a little bit that's a really cool build <clears throat> and then over here we're just going to keep that over there you don't really need to you don't really need to know what that is you're going to find out what that is that's a pretty epic watch so guys i don't want to go too long i want to close out with a loom shot this is just these guys have been sitting here and uh, in the studio lights i'm not going to blast them or anything like that but we're going to close out with a loom shot um, but before i do i want to talk about price real quick with the monsters um, mostly i'm going to label this video uh for the coral the sbdc 067 i paid um, I went to shopping in Japan, I think, dot com. I paid 519 US dollars shipped to my door. Back when I bought this guy, the Jade one, I'm pretty sure I bought it from the same company, and I think I paid $569. I'll have to look that up, but I know I paid $569. I'm just not sure where I bought it from. Um, and then obviously the, the Orange Monster back when I bought it, it was $200. But you can still get these guys in very good condition for five or $600. So you're looking at all of these are around five or six hundred dollars and you would be hard pressed convincing me that they're not worth it straight up i think the seiko monster is worth five hundred dollars that's the price tag that they're getting for them and i think it's worth it you know um is it a bummer that you can't buy them for two hundred dollars sure it's a little bit of a bummer it doesn't make it not worth the five hundred dollars so if you're if you're um, interested in a seiko monster i think figure out what model you want I think these new ones coming out are really good. These still have the uh, 6R15 movements in them, whereas the uh, second generation had the 4R. And I think, you know, the the black, the, so the earlier ones, the SBDC023, uh, the, the orange third gen, those are super expensive and super hard to get. And then there's the 2.5, which is the black version of the third gen. Um, I think you can kind of get those still around a reasonable price. And then there was that other one, the SZ, SC003, I think, which is like that really dark navy blue one. You can also get those really good. So we're starting to see some decent colorways for the um, third gen monster, if you will. So definitely pick. I, I really like these vivid ones. And then, I mean, you start talking straps and everything like that. I mean, you can do some really cool stuff i don't know what color you would go with you know with popping it you know for the the blue you could even go a more vivid blue maybe so some really cool options though so i'll close you out with a loom shot again as always thanks for watching guys plenty more vids to come um that that guy back there has a uh a loomed bezel you can obviously see um that was my only successful install of the blue bird dives or blue dive or whatever that company is um they made a monster bezel so it was really cool and uh i wish they would have worked out better but they just they kind of didn't so you can see the loom on these are just amazing monster loom as always so thanks for watching guys i'll see you on the next vid and more monster content coming for sure thanks